Hey, did I mention this thing is faster than a speeding bullet? Hey, buenos dias, que onda, que paso, amigos. Welcome back to the channel, John's Moto Garage. Today we got the CV1100. Haven't hopped on this bike in a couple of weeks, and I've had a lot of requests to do so. So today I'm going to talk about five reasons why this bike here should be your next motorcycle, the Honda CV1100. Let's get into it. All right, now let's be honest, you guys. Nobody really needs five reasons why they should buy this bike next. And out of all the motorcycles out there, you don't have to buy this one next. But I wanted an excuse to jump on and ride the bike. And, you know, honestly, I think that uh, most people would not be disappointed if they were to jump on and take one of these bikes for a spin. And there aren't a ton of videos out there with them. I think that's why a lot of people request this bike so much and videos with it. All right, so reason number one why this should be your next motorcycle, because it's unique and original. There are not a lot of people with this bike. You don't see it all the time. It's a head turner, bro. And as always, like I'm always saying, man, the only reason I ride a motorcycle is to impress the masses. Number two reason, these bikes are relatively inexpensive. When they first came out, not a ton of people bought them. They weren't like ridiculously wildly popular, at least not here in the States and the dealerships after a year or so basically were giving these things out for free all right maybe not for free but they were handing them out pretty dang cheap i mean i'm talking at least based on what people are telling me six seven thousand bucks out the door you know off the showroom floor on the used uh, on the older models so anyway you can get them relatively inexpensive reason number three fun factor these bikes are quite powerful they're not over the top powerful like your super sport or your fc09 but they're a lot more powerful than something like a honda grom obviously or your typical you know v-twin cruiser anyway with that it's kind of like the perfect blend of power and comfort and everything so they're really fun you have a lot of fun on them and they're super smooth super smooth now your harley riders out there sometimes complain about that smoothness in a motorcycle like oh it feels like i'm riding a spaceship type deal and i get it it's a different experience on a harley however i guarantee when somebody jumps on a sport bike they're not telling you it should feel like a harley and this has the smoothness and refinement that you expect out of a sport bike in a sense however reason number four or are we on reason number five i don't know it's a lot more comfortable than a sport bike a heck of a lot more comfortable than a sport bike you do still have like a mid control uh, seating position but it still kind of has that like you know feel to it when you're riding like you feel like you're going fast you know which will bring me to the handling the handling on these things is quite superb indeed the bike weighs in at around 550 pounds or thereabouts but you don't feel like you're lugging around a lot of weight or having to muscle this thing around Now, if you've watched my other videos on this bike, you're thinking, John, you're so redundant, bro. Come on, man. Can't you come up with any original new ideas? And honestly, I can't. I can't. But if this reaches even just one person who didn't know about these bikes before, then that's a big bonus and a plus for the CB1100 community in general. The idea is spreading the word, proselytizing the good word of the Honda CB1100. So if you didn't know, now you know. All right, I've completely lost track on my numbers here, you guys. So we're just going to say this is number four, five, five or six. Uh, reason number five, right along with the comfort aspect of it, let's talk reliability, man. You got the reliability of the Honda. So change the oil and go, am I right? Handling wise in the city as well, this isn't just a big touring bike. It's a versatile bike that you can jump on in the city. You can roll in the parking lots at slow speeds and not feel too overwhelmed. You can do figure eights and circles and all that fun stuff. You can pop it up on one wheel, man. It's got the versatility aspect for days. For days and days and days. 
and then i know the one point that i bring up pretty much every video is the old school cool look and feel and design of the bike it's got that old school look so when you pull up to a gas station everybody's going to be crowding around like oh my gosh dude what is that bro did you restore that from back in the day as an old school cool motorcycle to which you can reply yeah man it was a barn find and i polished it a little spit shine and voila here you have it a modern classic so there you have you guys a few reasons why this should be your next motorcycle did i even bother to ask what kind of riding you enjoy doing did i even bother to ask what kind of motorcycle you have currently did i even bother to ask if you prefer speed or you know slow speed cruising or any of that stuff no i didn't bother to ask and the reason i didn't bother to ask is because you don't have to with this bike man that's bonus reason number seven dude the bike can do it all Although I'm not sure how well it does, uh, you know, off-roading, but we have taken it in the dirt. So drop a comment below. What bike do you have currently? Let me know. And then I will let you know whether or not this bike can replace and not even just replace, but actually one up what your current motorcycle does. I can guarantee it will at least part of the time. <laughs> I can't believe I got through the video. I only think I, I think I only did two wheelies this entire video, man. I was getting complaints on the last one. I was too wheelie hungry, wheelie happy, so toning it down. There's reason number eight, bonus reason number eight. Stock exhaust on this purrs like a kitten, man. Quite quiet indeed. Which for many of you, you say, dude, you're way off, bro. Loud pipes save lives, but I say, no, 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 no quiet pipes allow for shenanigans what i mean by that is if you're rolling around with aftermarket exhaust that's wicked loud it's just a matter of time before you're out trying to do donuts in a parking lot and the 5.0 shows up because you're creating disturbance of the peace you know what i mean but you go out on one of these things these puppies dude nobody's going to hear you for miles away you can get away with messing around as much as you'd like Hey, did I mention this thing is faster than a speeding bullet? Alright, I lied. I had to get one more in for good measure. All right, guys, John's Moto Garage. As always, I appreciate the support. Like and subscribe if you dig the content. If you haven't been able to tell already, I don't take myself too seriously. I'm a fan of all motorcycles. I really don't care what you ride. What's important is that you ride. Am I right? Because there's a lot of people out there that couldn't even ride if they wanted to. So I look at it as a luxury, an absolute luxury, uh, one for which I'm quite grateful. And... Um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you're a fan of the CB1100, cool. If you've never ridden one, I say you should try it out. They are fun bikes indeed. And until the next one, ride safe and have fun out there, you guys. All right, there you have you guys. John's Moto Garage. Five reasons why this CB1100 should be your next motorcycle. Did I mention it has a center stand? Bonus reason number 12. Like and subscribe if you guys dig the content. I do appreciate the support. And I think that'll do it, man. I think that'll do it. See you next time. Oh, and I will say... If you're thinking that you're just not an advanced, experienced enough rider for one of these, check out my wife's channel, Jackie's Moto Garage. She took this thing around the block and she loved it. So she's been riding two months. So that's no excuse, no excuse at all.